Let's go. 107.3 KFFM. It's another Jubal phone tap. Hello? Hey, I was looking for Vince. You found him. Vince, how are you? The name's Topher Black. I'm calling from <laughs> Talent Agency. You're from where? <laughs> Talent Agency. The name's Topher Black. Is this Vince? Yes, it is. The same Vince <laughs> that replied to an ad for casting in a reality show? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I thought so. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Topher. Topher Black, yeah. How can I help you? Well, how can I help you is the better question. Because we saw your reply to the ad for the reality show, and guess what? A lot of interest in casting you. A lot. Are you serious? Am I serious? Two things you should know about me, okay? Don't drink coffee, and also, I don't ever screw around when it comes to the entertainment industry. I am keeping it 100 with you, dog. What do you think? (laughs) It sounds pretty legit. Well, our company produces a lot of reality shows. A lot of the stuff that you see on TV right now. Okay. The one that we're thinking you would fit best in is kind of a groundbreaking show. We're hoping to get it off of the ground and then break that ground. (laughs) Okay, well, you know, I'm interested. I sent in my tape. I know. What's it about? (laughs) Well, the name of the show is called Overthrow. Overthrow. That sounds intense. (laughs) Yeah, well, it kind of is intense, actually. It's a different kind of reality show, something we've never done before. We're excited about it. Me too. What's it about? I'll just give you a quick synopsis, okay? It involves you flying over to North Korea and trying to overthrow the dictator, Kim (laughs) Jong-un. (laughs) KJU. What are you talking about, going to North Korea? We actually have been able to partner with the U.S. military. It was a hard time selling them, but they bought it, and they thought, why not make a reality show out of it? Who knows? Could be some good press for America, too. Uh... I mean, you're not you're not actually asking us to overthrow North Korean government. It's got to be like a fake place, a fake dictator no. kind of a thing. That is the best part, my friend. It's all real. I'll explain how it works, okay? So the game starts off with you in Hollywood in front of a live studio audience. And the host of the show will ask you for three things that you want to take with you on your trip. It could be anything from a pepperoni pizza to a bulletproof vest, whatever you want to choose. Okay... After you choose your things in the middle of the night, we secretly parachute you into the DMZ, the demilitarized zone between North Korea and South Korea. And then from there... You can't fly over that area. Well... (laughs) Demilitarized, that means no planes and Listen, I don't know how they're doing it. That's the military's problem, all right? I'm producing the thing. I'm helping cast it. They're figuring all that out. You're going to have a camera on you, and when you're dropped in the DMZ... Pretty much up to you up to that point. And people are getting shot over there all the time, running over to South Korea right now. I'm going to stick out like a sore thumb. Well, <laughs> okay. And that's part of the problem. That builds the drama, you see? Yeah, yeah, but what if I die? Okay, little advice on just being successful in general. Don't think about the negative first. All right? Let's not talk about that. Let's focus on the mission to overthrow the evil dictator, Kim Jong-un. You're not listening to me. If I do this reality show, I'm going to show up and die over there, man. Hey, the thing about me is I'm always truthful and I'm always honest. And yes, death is a real possibility. But if you win, not only do you get 10 grand prize money, but our sponsor Doritos will give you a lifetime supply of Doritos. I'm not going to die over 10 grand in a pile of Doritos, man. It's more than just that, though. If you accomplish it, you'll be a national hero, fame, fortune, and Think of all the ladies that are going to be knocking down your door if you knock down Kim Jong-un's door. Hey, I'm not interested in this show, bro. Oh, you're killing me. What do I got to do to get you over to North Korea to try to overthrow the government? What do I got to do? There's nothing you can do to make me do that. Okay. All right. How about this? at all. What if I get you a starring role in a prank phone call on the radio? Huh? (laughs) Now that's really making it. What are you talking about, man? Starring role in a... Yes, a prank phone call, because this is actually Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the morning doing a phone tap on you, and your boss, Jack, set you up. Jack set me up for this? Yes, he heard you applied for a reality show, and since you guys play a lot of jokes on each other, he wanted me to mess with you. Are you serious? Yes. Oh, my God. I can't believe you weren't willing to go over to North Korea and try to take out the dictator. (laughs) 
<laughs> yeah, especially with the free Doritos. Yeah, lifetime supply. <laughs> <laughs> that was ridiculous. <laughs> Jubal phone taps. Catch him every weekday at 720 and 920 with Brooke and Jubal in the morning. 1073 KFFM.